finally bought a wide field telescope. I put a little too much air in this ball chair here. It's a little bit high up. I should let some air out, but later. So this is the Red Cat 51. And of course, it was sold out everywhere I looked until I got to telescopes.net and they had one. And so I purchased it right away. Now, I had a friend at telescopes.net. His name is Simon. I don't know what his job is there, but I asked him, Simon, I just ordered a red hat. Do you guys really have it in stock? Because I don't trust anyone these days. And he said, yes, they had eight of them. Holy crap. So this is Simon. I'll let him talk for a moment while I start unboxing this. Don't be like Chuck, getting desperate, coming to us last, and then finding that we actually had what he need. He should have come to us first. First. Simon had a lot more to say. Kind of cut it off. Wow. Wow. Look at this bag. That is a nice bag. I'm impressed already. It's even got the cat on there. And I didn't know the cat actually stood for a cat in Red Cat until I actually ordered this. So it's about time I bought one of these. Oh, here, I'll just show you this real quick. That looks to be the scope right there. It's upside down. There you go. It's so tiny, I'm not used to small telescopes like this. Very nice. I don't know what these big blocks are for. I don't know if there's anything else in here that I need. No, that's just a compartment. That's a compartment. And that's another compartment. That's a, that's a really nice bag. Too bad I'm never gonna use it again because nothing I buy ever goes back in the bag. This is gonna be its own dedicated setup. Now, this is the dew shield. Aha! And this is the focuser right here. Oh, look at that, okay. You can see the tube going in and out with the focus. Interesting. And I think this actually screws on somehow. Maybe not that way. I think this uh, this disc definitely serves as a dew shield. Oh, it, it's... I think it screws right onto the front. Yeah, there it goes. So now I've got a dew shield. Oh, very nice. And I just noticed here... Um, it looks like there's a Batnoff mask in here. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. I use autofocus. I'm going to have an electronic focuser on this, so I won't be using a Batnoff mask, but that is a nice touch. And, and that's to help you with focus manually if you don't have an electronic focuser. Very nice touch. Now, um, what I could do with this scope is I could piggyback it off of the, the big scopes I already have, but I don't want to do that. I want this to be its own standalone setup, like sort of like um, uh, a travel setup. I've never had a travel setup, even though I never travel. I, I like the idea of actually having a travel setup. So uh, something that's lightweight and portable. Now, so I definitely need to add a lot on this and I've got a lot of spare parts back here and let me see what I've got. Okay, so I do have a spare ASI 1600 astronomy camera. Now, it might be undersampled, and it's, this camera's kind of old, and I think I might really want um, a camera with a, a bigger sensor to take advantage of the wide field, but for now, I, I can still use this at least. So I got a spare astronomy camera. I have a spare Hotec field flattener. I'm not sure yet if I actually need a field flattener for this yet, so I, I have to look into that, So, but that's I'm glad I have an extra one of those. Now I found a whole set of Optolong, LRGB, and narrowband filters 
I kind of feel bad because uh, Optolong gifted me this set of filters and I never really gave it a workout so I'll finally start using them now. I have a guide scope. Hmm. Seems kind of big for this scope but hey, if it works it works. I don't have a spare guide camera though so I will have to get one of those. And here's something I never used. It's a Pegasus pocket power box. So I don't think I'll need a, a surge protector. I don't think I'd need a surge protector if I'm using this. I'll have to double check on that. I won't need a hub if I'm using this either. So, And I might not even need a, a dew heater control box. if I'm. I'll have to check all that. I'll, I gotta see what this can do. I bought it a long time ago. But I, knew, I, I, I do need to buy some uh, probably a dew heater strip to go over the lens, over the objective lens. I think so. So other than also needing an electronic focuser, I can't think of anything else I'm going to need. And then it's just, I got to decide on what kind of mount do I want to put on all this. So I got to figure that out. So it's going to be a fun project. Although we're heading into galaxy season right now, so I've got time to get all this straightened out. So that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. I finally bought a...